how to install Pokemon Live Wallpaper on the home screen and on the lock screen of your Android device without having to root it. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the new Pokemon Live wallpaper from the Google Pixel 4 on the home screen and on the lock screen of your Android device without having to root it. Technically, this process will work for all Android devices which are running Android 8.0 Oreo or above. However, practically it is not possible for me to check on all Android devices. So if you check on a specific Android device and it works for you, do let me know via comments below so that we can add it to the list in the pinned comment. What are the things which we need? Well, for starters, you need to go into the Play Store and you need to install the Google Wallpapers application. So all you need to do is search for Google Wallpaper. And this is the application which we are looking for, Wallpapers by Google LLC. Then you need another application which is called Split APK Installer. So this is the second application which we are looking for, Split APK Installer. And of course, I will have links to both of these in the description of this video so that it is easier for you to install these applications. The next thing which we need is the zip file which is named Pokemon Sidekick Wallpaper and you can find the link to that as well in the description of this video. Next thing we're going to do is open the Split APK Installer application and we're going to click on Install APKs. If it asks you for access to your storage, click on Allow. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the Pokemon Sidekick Wallpaper zip file. Now before we do that, let me open the wallpapers application and show you peeps that I do not have the Pokemon Sidekick wallpaper already installed. So this is the wallpapers application. If I go into live wallpapers, you can see that I do not have the Pokemon wallpaper here. We can now go back to our split APK installer application and we are still on the file manager screen. All you need to do is check on the box besides the Pokemon Sidekick wallpaper zip file and then click on select. Now if you get a pop-up message that the split APK installer application is not allowed to install APKs, click on settings and then enable the toggle which says allow from this source, go back and then click on install. And as you can see we are getting a message that Pixel Live wallpaper has been installed. We will click on OK, click on the home button and go back to the home screen. And now if we open our wallpapers application, bam, there we have it, Pokemon in the building my friend Pikachu and if you want the live wallpaper to react to your weather conditions just allow it location access by clicking on continue and then you'll get a pop-up for allowing access to devices location click on allow all the time and then you can also change your Pokemon by double tapping so you have five different options you can choose from and these are the different options back to my friend Pikachu click on set wallpaper home and lock screen both onto the home screen, Pikachu in the building, working like a boss, lock the device, unlock it, working like a boss on the lock screen as well. And in case you want to change the Pokemon, all you need to do is double tap and it will switch over to the next Pokemon. So there it is peeps, that is how you install the Pokemon Live wallpaper on the home screen and on the lock screen of your Android device without having to root it. And that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.